smallest room in the house is our baby's room, which we had refurbished, took out some of the scary trees that were painted on the wall in here, and put up some cute little shelving that we purchased at an estate sale. Again, brought in beautiful, beautiful curtains, and again, went from floor to ceiling to make the room elongated, and stage it with some great little rocking horse and carriage features and a beautiful hand embroidered rug, all of which were donated to us, lent to us, or purchased at garage sales for very reasonable cost. But this room completes the second floor and is a smaller room that can be used either as a, a baby's room or as an office for whoever purchases the home. Off the second floor leading to the third floor is a wonderfully redone attic space. We have lightened the colors in here to Desert Island, Benjamin Moore's Desert Island. We installed new green carpeting. This carpeting is made from recycled Coke bottles. And in fact, it is one of our favorite features of the house that we can boast that yet another feature is a green feature. As you can see, it's a nice space up here. It's a little short, uh, but it's over six feet because I fit comfortably. And it's a great room for the average teenager or an office space as well. Uh, definitely could easily fit uh, a wonderful bed. It's about 13 by 20. Um, it's got a great cedar lined closet. And it's very private. So it looks out over the backyard and most teenagers who come up here are very impressed that they would make this their room. Part of our rehab was to install air conditioning on the throughout the house. We installed a unit in here in the third floor attic space in the eaves and another unit went into the basement. So this unit controls the air conditioning on this floor as well as the second floor and the unit in the basement controls the basement, which we redid, and the first floor, thus giving us wonderfully air-conditioned and well-heated space throughout the year.